Okay, in this container, this is one of the cantaloupe plants that, if you go back and watch a previous video, we ripped a bunch of uh, plants out of the indoor system, and this is one of the cantaloupes that, that made it. And as you can see, we have a uh, cantaloupe starting. It's, I don't know, it's probably about the size of a tennis ball right now. And uh, hopefully it produces us uh, some decent cantaloupe. Oh, there's another frog. <laughs> Frogs are all over the place. So I was just out here just kind of doing a one over on my plants, and I noticed this big giant uh, worm, whatever kind of tomato worm or whatever it is, but I'm going to pick him off and feed him to my fish because he is huge. Wow. He does not want to let go. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this with the camera in my hand. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if these fish want to eat this guy. So our tomato plants have been attacked by these tomato tomato worms, whatever whatever they're called. But they've they've really uh, done a number on my on my tomato plants. So uh, that's uh, what I've been battling the past few days, both here in the greenhouse and over in the raised bed. So I probably pulled about I don't know probably 30 of these things out of my tomato bushes altogether. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. All right, so as, as I hope you can see, my compost bin is just alive with black soldier fly larvae. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these guys out and um, uh, harvest them and feed them to my fish. All right, so I pulled some, some out. Uh, not too many, but I don't know. It was kind of gross sticking my hand in the compost uh, tumbler. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give my fish a treat. All right, so I'm at the fish tank outside, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, and I don't know how well I'm going to be, see that, be able to see this, because the water is a little dark, so I'm going to just dump these guys in and see what happens. <laughs> it looks like they're not even uh, really paying attention, but I'll try again later when uh, they're probably uh, oh no, there's one Okay, cool. So they are eating them. I can see them. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll harvest some more and uh, feed these guys uh, again later So this evening we came out here we noticed that the bed was leaking really bad and we weren't sure where um, We have it kind of narrowed down to the back bed um, but we we don't know for sure, so we're going to be uh, trying to figure out where the leak's coming from. And you can see we have this jack up there because the, the the board got waterlogged and started to warp. So we're trying to save it, and uh, I'll have uh, more updates for you guys later. Okay, so it looks like a crisis was averted. Doesn't look like there is a rip in our liner. It looks like the water was leaking out from a pipe, but it's but it did warp the wood. So we're going to keep close eye on it. And uh, we might, we probably will end up having to rip, rip this thing out after the after the growing season if we, you know, if, if everything goes correctly, and uh, replace the wood. But that's a big bummer. So uh, we're gonna keep everything growing the way it is, and uh, we'll go from there. So look at this tomato plant. It's just it's growing all the way up. It's almost sticking out of the vent. And the bean plant is still crawling, and it's it probably grows at least six inches a day. And uh, that cucumber one is still growing, nice and uh, nice and strong, all the way across the the line. Uh, this plant, we last week we had it, you know, it, it barely reached the top of this stake that's in there, and now it's, you know, I, now I need to attach a line to it to uh, the roof just to get it to stand up straight. So I'm right now, right now, I'm just resting it against this line. Uh, you can see these grape tomatoes coming in pretty well. There's quite a bit on there. And I want to show you the habaneros. They're starting to come in. You can see them down there. So that's that's pretty exciting. This bell pepper. We're starting to get a lot of bell pepper on here. You can see a couple of them back there. There's two of them. Three, four, five. 
There's probably more. And there's a big bunch of tomatoes. Sorry if it's getting a little dark, but the sun's gone down because we were dealing with this leak and I didn't really have time to shoot anything, so. Uh, but I'm just glad that we're gonna be able to keep these things growing in here because it would have been a real uh, shame to have to rip all these plants out just to, uh, well, to repair the bed, so. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a look at the, uh, the greenhouse. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to uh, check us out online at uh, hdaquaponics.com. From there, you can find links to our Facebook fan page. You can also follow me on Twitter at hdaquaponics. And uh, yeah, until next week.